It is here, the day our Botswana trip starts, and after many days of planning, we are ready to go. We left Pretoria en route to Kwanaken via Martin's Drift border post for our first night stay. Our planned route is to visit the Mahadi Hadi National Park and to stay at Kumaha for our second night stay. Then off to Maun to refill and to buy some necessary items for the next 10 days. The next stage of our trip is visiting multiple campsites in the Moremi, the Savuti and the Chobi National Parks. Heading into Zimbabwe to visit the historic Victoria Falls, where we shall do a helicopter flight viewing the majestic Victoria Falls and the Zambezi River. Then heading to Elephant Sands, Kubu Island and Kama Rhino Sanctuary. After about 3000 kilometers and 18 days traveling, we will be heading home. A self-drive camping trip requires a good deal of planning and preparation. I can recommend Botswana Footprints as they assisted me in all my campsite bookings, including all park fees for a reasonable service fee. Please take special note that if you have not paid your park fees on entry at any of the reserves or parks, you will be required to either pay in Pula or drive back to the nearest Department of Wildlife and National Parks office. We had to cross the Buteti River to get to our campsite in Kumaha. The river was not deep, but we decided to rather use the ferry. Good planning makes your trip much more enjoyable and relaxing. Also note that the campsites within the game reserves and national parks are not fenced, so you must take the necessary precautionary measures to ensure your own safety. I have included Botswana Footprints detail in the description below. To the north of the pans during the summer months, the migration of large herds of zebra and wildebeest can be seen. This is believed to be the second largest migration of large mammals in Africa.
Gumacha is located to the northwestern side of the Mahadi Hadi Pans with an abundance of wildlife. The Mahadi Hadi Pans are the largest salt pans in the world, covering an area of over 30,000 square kilometers. After an epic day, we are heading for our campsite. We are packing up camp soon and will be visiting the iconic Baines Baobab in the Naya Pans. These amazing botanical trees are surrounded with vast open landscape of salt pan. Definitely a must see. Baines is a cluster of millennia old baobab trees discovered by explorer Thomas Baines in 1862.
leaving Baines Baobab and driving towards Mound to refuel and to do the necessary shopping for the next few days. We arrived at Southgate in the Moreni Game Reserve, heading towards Kazakini campsite where we will camp for two nights, then head to Mohoto, a really wild and secluded place next to the Kwai River. We decided to stay one night at Southgate campsite because of the recently upgraded ablutions. Man, was that good to have a hot shower. We packed up camp and left for Mohoto. Mohoto campsite is located 20 kilometers east of the Kwai village. The campsite is situated along the banks of the Boteti River in Muremi on the Sabuti Road. The campsite derives its name from the Setswana word Mohoto for the camel thorn tree, a type of acacia tree found in Botswana. These trees provide shade to the campsites and elephants love the peels i.e. many elephants shaking trees in this campsite. There are some river crossings which needs to be carefully approached. This is a great campsite for wildlife photography and videography, definitely nature at its best.
The village of Mababe is situated on the banks of the Kwai River, approximately 125 kilometers northeast of Maun. The Kwai River provides the lifeline for the inhabitants of Mababe and surrounding settlements, as well as the abundant wildlife of the area. We had some difficulty with the trailer shock absorber. Luckily the guys from Echo 4x4 Center designed this trailer exceptionally well and we could solve the problem quite easily. The distance between Mababe Gate and Mogoto campsites is 46 kilometers and took around one and a half hours drive. We went through the Mababi Gate, then arrived at the Goa Gate, entering the Chobi National Park. The road between Mokoto and Goa Gate was extremely difficult, as the sand is very thick almost all the way. From here we are heading to Tobolos Bush Lodge for a two night stay. in the next episode. Please join us for more about Tobolos Bush Lodge, our journey to Kasani, our unforgettable experience on the Chobi River, our visit to the historic Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe, 
what an epic adventure thus far with Dwayne and Charles. See you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and help me grow my channel.